Greetings, Taffers. Welcome to my next Let's Play a Thief FM feature. And this time, I'm diving into Bloodstone Prison. Another Thief 1 FM, this one from 1999 by Kung Fu Gecko. And if you're ready for some spooky, haunted, zombie, undead, spooky, ghosty, I'm running out of words. Um, but if you're ready for that stuff, well, you're going to love this. Hey, did one of my YouTube videos just end? Alright, so let's see what we have here. I'm getting Bandos, my, my client. Um, his late wife's brooch is probably still held within the prison vault. His blessed holy sword will probably also be with the brooch. There must still be some valuables around. Get 1400. Bando remembers a prison mate who swallowed a large gem to prevent the hammers from taking it. Well, that's dedication. He was never released and his body may still be there. Get the diamond. The prison was overrun by undead for a reason. Find out why. And lastly, escape. And just to give you some context on this one, I have played it before, but obviously, um, it's been a while since I read the README. But uh, Bando has hired Garrett to go into a place he was once held prisoner at to get his late wife's brooch, and then there's some other stuff here, finding out what happened there, getting the loot. You've seen it all. So let's see. You know, always get a moss arrow. Got some water arrows. Two rope arrows should be enough. I usually try to ghost things. I don't know if I need a holy water. Um, definitely get another moss arrow. Um, I just, I don't know. I like to spend all the cash even if I don't use the things. But maybe I'll stop there. I will rely on not alerting any zombies by not, and, and not get any holy water. Not rely on alerting any zombies by not getting holy water. Uh, getting my words mixed up. Anyway, time to begin. Notes from Bando. Mr. Garrett. Wait, how would he sound, do you think? Not quite sure. Now, nah, I'll just continue. Mr. Garrett, thank you for accepting my request to recover my wife's brooch. Or is it brooch? I keep saying brooch. You have no idea of how much this means to me. Watching you reminds me of my youth, and I expect that the challenge itself presents a bit of a lure. Years ago, when I last attempted to recover the brooch myself, I found the front gate to be too well guarded, but an overgrown tree at the southwest wall had broken its way to the roof of the south wing. From the roof, you should be able to slip into the kitchen chimney. Next page. The brooch is probably still in the confiscation vault, but you'll need a key to get inside. When I was a guest of Bloodstone's prison block one, the warden was in control of that key. Be careful, Mr. Garrett. The earthquake and resulting landslide two seasons ago may have done some damage, and I don't think I need to remind you of the dangers of dealing with the undead. Signed, Bando. Well, no, Bando, I don't think you need to remind Garrett of that, nor do you need to remind me of that. In fact, I just want to stay at this cozy campsite. Look for a shooting stars. I 
like the dodecadahedrons as bushes here. I know those are a shape that you can make in Dramed, and it was it's always fun to just mess around with them. Which was pretty much all I did in, in Dramed. Um, anyway, uh, it's a good thing that within this world, Garrett is the person moving right now and I am controlling him because if I was for real in this game world, if I was really in this game world, I would never walk up to that place. This entire mission would be me sitting at this campsite. I'd undo the bedroll and, and just stay here because I, I don't really... I don't really want to huh, go up there, but, huh, but... But I'm Garrett. Right, I'm Garrett, so I I am brave. I will. I will. I will walk up here. Gulp. Creepy. Poor Hammerites lose so many places to the undead. I wonder if they, like, track it all. Well, the... The 2022 report... Oh, wait, it wouldn't be 2022 in, in this world. The... Let's see, what, what would be a good year? I don't know, the, the 749 yearly report is now complete, and congratulations, brethren, we only lost seven facilities to the undead this year. Good job, everyone. And pardon me while I frob a real-world item. There we go. even highlighted when I looked at it. That always weirds me out. <gasps> A little golden cup stuck away in that corner. Inside at last. Oh, that always gets me. Even when I know it's coming, it's really creepy. But hey, I got by him. I'll quick save it again. Letter from Bix. I like that name. Myrtle. I don't know how I am to get this letter to you, but I want to let you know I'm okay. I'll find someone who can deliver it to you in the city. I'm in a bit of trouble. You must know by now that I took old Parrington's cherished scepter. I thought I could get a pretty penny for it and take care of the family a bit. Maybe even get you a pretty necklace to wear too. But now I'm regretting that I swiped that fat... You know what, Jeweled Scepter. It were such a, it were such easy pickings, though. You'll have to pardon my timid tongue. 
but the um uh, the the bad words you can say to yourself. Anyway, uh, where was I? Ah, uh, he he left his carriage to to take care of his business, and my misfortune or my fortune or misfortune, I was sitting behind a barrel out of view of the driver when they stopped. I always wanted to see what the inside of those carriages looked like, so I took a little peek, and there it sat, his fatness's jeweled scepter right on the seat like a sleeping baby. I could hear him harassing some poor woman, so before I knew it, the scepter were in my hand and I were running down the street. Some street brat must have ratted me out, as the next thing I knew I saw wanted posters with my name on it. Now I can't even get back into the city because the gate guards be looking out for me. I'm gonna kill him if I ever figured out who ratted me out. Maybe I shouldn't be using a soft, pleasant voice for this guy. I'm gonna kill him if I ever figure out who ratted me out, that dirty rat. I don't want to say where I'm staying because they might find me. It's not that great, but it keeps the rain off my head. Kinda haunted too. I'll come back as soon as I can, Bix. Oh yes, that's right, this goes on, it's like a series of letters. Well, if you don't like hearing me read long readables, of course, you can always scan ahead. I don't blame you. Dear Myrtle, Now I wonder if I haven't gotten myself into more trouble. The first night were uneasy and I thought I heard noises that this night I know my life is in danger. Oh, but this night I know my life is in danger. I, I need to take reading lessons again. I found a bit of booty lying around this old place and began to explore when I came upon a ghost. He looked as a hammer as any do, but I could see behind him like he weren't even there. I froze in fear, but the ghost hammer took no notice of me and walked right through me. When he passed, I collected my wits. I went to the nearest room, which turned out to be a kitchen. I were surprised to meet a fellow humming away peacefully. Hey, in the world of Thief, a lot of people hum. His back were turned to me, and I greeted him to my regret. He turned around, and he did not have a face. It were rotting in pieces and worms and foul air came from him. I ran a fear I have never experienced before. And that's when I saw it. It came up the stairs all glowing. It were another ghost. But this one spied me and waved its hands in the air. Again I could not move from my fear. Something came from his hands and struck me down. It came closer, the ghost I assume and not the thing from its hands, and saw that I had been hit. It laughed a chilling laugh and turned and left. I thought I were done for. I tried to climb out the chimney, but my strength were gone. So I lie here in one of the rooms to muster enough strength to try again. A dark figure discovered me, and I thought it were over for me as its skeletal face moaned to flames. Hey, I think I know that guy. But it stared at me and took notice of my wound. Then it turned and went on its way. Um, Bixie used the wrong its there. I mean, I know you're injured in a haunted place, and you're kind of in a foul mood right now because of all the misfortune that's befalling you, but please, be grammatically correct. Nothing has bothered me since, and I am relieved, for I have not the strength to defend myself, Bix. My dearest Myrtle. Oh. Wrong face. Wrong face. See, I am all mixed up. I am all mixed up. To be honest with you, I am to be meta a little bit. I am recording this at a different time of day than usual. So I'm a little mixed up now. But no, not my face, but my voice was wrong then. Let me just keep reading this before I completely get all tongue-tied. Anyway, my dearest Myrtle, I have not moved for two days. My wounds consume me. My chest turns a pale white and the blood at my wound becomes dark. I am afraid I will not survive this. I have had nothing to eat or drink, yet I feel as if I don't need to. If this letter ever reaches you, then know that I have always loved you. Kiss the children for me, Bix. Ah, poor Bix. I think I know what happened to him. Let's just say he won't be writing any more letters anytime soon. I wonder where he got the pen to write that. 
Why did he write all that stuff about being injured if at that point he probably knew it was for certain he would not be able to deliver that letter to Myrtle? Ah, maybe he had hope still. Maybe I'm overthinking things. Maybe I shouldn't worry about it. Yes, I always peek into these in Thief missions. Because you never know, some FM authors have put the little trinket down in there. Talk about diamonds in the rough, if you know what I'm saying. Huh. I thought he was walking into that room and shutting the door behind him. I think I'll duck into here. I, I was about to say... I think I'll walk through these hallways and get the lay of the land, but... Yeah. And yes, I know I missed that key. How ironic if it would have opened these chests. I think I'll just quick load it and get out of that scene. No, maybe I'll go this way. If they're both patrolling this way, it makes sense. I don't even have to cut that banner. Oh, another readable. By a hamrite named Donatelli. Let me see if I can get my hammerite voice going. <clears throat> Which one do I want to use? A deep one or a light one? <laughs> 17th day of a march, eh? And I'm just kidding. I march. Just having some fun there. Praise the builder indeed. I am making progress with Jarek. I believe a gentle approach rather than the aggressive hammer is the best way to convert the lost. Jarek has shown great interest in learning the teachings of the Builder and the stories of the saints. Oh, my, my cadence fell off there. Let me try again. Jarek has shown great interest in learning the teachings of the Builder and the stories of the saints. He looks forward to our daily meetings and is beginning to consider Cell Block 2 his place of repentance. Tomorrow I will read him the story of St. Judel and the Jiggy Witty. I will also bring the Holy Hammer in the event that he decides to make the prayer of repentance. Donatelli Yeah, I'm just gonna stay back in this corner right here for now. You know, I really, even after all these years, when I get caught by a haunt, especially given how fast they run, it just really 
unnerves me. Well, I guess he wasn't coming in here. Nope. I swear, sometimes I'll What's open a chest in the really shadow there? through a bank vault door. Oh, another readable. Let's see who wrote this. Sebastian. Greetings and strength be with you, brother. It has been just a moon cycle that I have last written you. I have good news and bad. Wait, I don't like that voice. Let's see. Let me try another one. I have been promoted to captain and been given new responsibilities. The warden has even entrusted me with the key to open his office safe to retrieve holy candles in the vault key. But as I rejoice for myself, I also grow deeply concerned about the warden's behavior. He has become increasingly violent with the prisoners and short with our brothers. I have not seen him in service for many weeks now and he no longer participates in evening prayers. After prayers last night, my blessed candle burnt itself out so I went to the warden's office to retrieve another from the safe, and I found him brooding over a strange book. His eyes glowed with a strange light, and I sensed a strange burning near his presence. He has found new magics that are powerful, and have proven useful indeed, but I fear that they may not be of the Builder. Please tell no one of this letter. If the warden were to discover what I have said, I would be accused of blasphemy. Sebastian. Well, that's certainly a clue towards what's happened here. be kidding me. Kung Fu Gecko, you monster. Well, at least I seem not to have alerted anyone. Nope, and there I go again. Ooh, that looks like it's going down down somewhere. I think I'll stick with exploring these rooms for now. Let's see if my key works. Ah, oh, but my lockpick does. Oh, 
don't like the way that door stopped short. I think that was my first loot of the mission. Well, let's see what this says. Quite a long one. Am I up for this? See, if this was a live stream, I could ask you to, like, vote or comment. Do you want me to keep reading through these, or just let you read through them and I kind of just click through them? But since this isn't a live stream, I, I can't do that. But, I guess I could say, uh, feel free to drop a comment, um, if my approach to readables is disagreeable, or perhaps agreeable. Feel free to let me know. Well, let's see. Um, I'll kind of... Well, I'm wasting time. I'll, I'll start reading and see how far I get before my voice breaks down. I have dedicated my life to being a hammer. I worked up the ranks and risked my life for the cause of the Order. I was appointed warden of this prison and served faithfully. For many years I waited patiently. I performed my prayers. I upheld order. And with an opening of a seat in the High Council, I should have been chosen as the next bishop. Not that... mean person Wilfred. Oh, my creative instincts there. Not that loser Wilfred. How could I have been passed over? Have I not shown my dedication? Have I not proven my worthiness? Have I not done a superior job upholding the law and punishing the heathen? I have. But the Builder betrays me. My brothers betray me. I will wait no more. I had the strangest dream. Now that's quite a jarring transition. I dreamt the specter of death had come for me and I had no choice but to go. I was brought to a descending tunnel where the skulls of the deceased lay upon the ground and laid into the walls themselves. They spoke and called my name as I passed till he reached a gate where only chaos was beyond. My fear subsided and gave way to curiosity. Beyond the gate I heard my name being called and I saw an image of tome. Of a tome, I mean. Typo there. The tome gave me strength and power and I could command the dead. Further in the distance, I could see the members of the High Council, and they were being overpowered and killed by the Walking Dead. And I could not help but smile. A prisoner was brought in today. He was admitted, stripped of his possessions, and escorted to the dome. But before he was taken away, he stared at me and shouted, I bring it to you. Later that day, I went to the vault to collect my usual contribution, when I was shocked to see the book from my dreams. I read one of the pages, and a crate in the room burst into flames, yet it was not consumed, and the flames were of a green glow. I commanded it to cease, and the flames were gone, and the crate unharmed. There is great power in this book, and it is now mine. Okay, two more pages. Here we go. Again, if this isn't your kind of thing to hear me reading through readables, feel free to scan ahead. I will not have my feelings hurt. I have been reading the book and I pause now only to express my excitement, for I dare not tell this to any of the brothers. I have appointed Sebastian my assistant so that I may concentrate my efforts in studying this book. My new magics, hey, without a K are wonderful indeed. I have not been able to create light and flames which do not require a church to bore. Let's see, oh. I have been able to create light and flames which do not require a torch to burn or a generator to power. I have created a lock upon my safe which can only be opened by the breath of those I desire. Now that is an odd lock system. I have lifted objects into the air with but the thought of my mind. And today I have reanimated a deceased rat. A deceased rat. 
I grow stronger each day, the counts will be spat on, I will be greater than them all. It is now my time. The powers surge within me. A prisoner broke loose of his shackles. Now that's another jarring transition. And managed to produce a blade. My incompetent brothers could not restrain him before he impaled me with the wretched knife. But I did not fall. Instead, I placed my hand upon his face and crushed his skull within my grasp. The book called to me and said I would be given perpetual life. It said it was but the beginning. It said tomorrow my growth will be complete and gave me the name Jiggy Witty. I shall sleep well tonight. My wounds have already healed on their own and power surges within me. I think I shall pay the council a visit tomorrow. I hope the council headed him off. Well, I mean... Not that I sympathize with the Hammerites, but I guess, whoops. I guess for their own sake, I hope they headed him off. Later, looking at my YouTube analytics, hey, I notice viewers drop off right around the same time I start reading through these readables. What, what's going on? I need to hire a consultant. Uh, yes, Mr. The Taffer. The data suggests that your viewers do not like hearing you read readables, and we recommend that you stop doing it. Here's your bill. Oh, but this one could be fun to read. Let's see. Speaks the words of names to the netherworld. The powers these this comes to thee maketh one the jiggy witty, and the nether so shall come to thee to open the lands to the netherworld, and so then ye shall live through thems forever with magics and powers unimaginable. Let me record myself saying that and then play it backwards really slow with a bunch of filters and sound effects put over it. Locked. Maybe I'll nip down here a little bit. Oh. Earthquake damage down here. Might. I think I'll get up here. I think one of them is heading this way.
Whew. I must have expected to find a boulder in that one. You know that could that could be one of those simple little Lego pieces just stuck on the wall. It reminds me of it. I guess you would say trapezoidal. Um, if any of you are an expert in shapes, uh, I apologize if I just messed up. Oh, looks like a way down into the prison. Do I want to peek down there or keep? Exploring up here. I think I want to keep exploring up here for now, but you know what? I'm going to put in a save. And aha! Uh -huh. Yes, yes, I'm betraying that I had played this before, as you see the other saves there. But every time I play a thief of him, it's as fresh as the last. As fresh as the last playthrough, I should say, to finish my thought there. These crumbling books, cobwebs. Ah, I see. He's just patrolling up and down here, I think. And I think that's the place I came to from the other side, so... For now, why don't I head down into the prison? Let's go ahead and head straight down there. I'll come back up here later. Let's get to where the real action is. This is Bloodstone Prison, not Bloodstone Hallways with bedrooms, after all. Now I know I'm in a hammerite place.
let's see. Which, let me look at that note from Bando again. And don't worry, I won't read it again. I won't read it this time. Confiscate. So he was in prison block one. The brooch is probably in the confiscation vault, but he was in prison block one. Okay, well this is cell block or prison block one. Let me go ahead and just explore here. way to get down there. Thought I was just gonna, going to nip into that cell block and hide a bit. this was the liveliest cell block. <laughs> hmm. You know, I won't even need a consultant for that one if uh, I see my views completely cliff at uh, that time mark. I'll, I'll know the reason why. Don't need to be Sherlock Holmes to figure that one out. a humongous diamond. And that is the same humongous diamond that the one prison mate swallowed. Which I do not want to think about. I just know I got it. Didn't get a good chance to look at his skeleton, but I don't think I'll risk getting caught trying to. So I will not worry about looking at the skeleton. Ooh, something to Boiler room key. Okay, well, I wonder if there's anything worth... I'm trying to remember if I've ever walked on these pipes down there before. Hmm. Not too certain. I think I'll go up this ladder. It looks like that poor bloke fell down it. That was his final resting place. 
Aha. Well, easy way out. I, had I explored everything in that area? I think I had. I had gone to the underwater part. Look through those cell blocks. I explored the ones up top. There was that one hammer archer walking on the other side. I don't know if I could walk up and down that. I'll leave it there for now. Let's head into cell block two and see what's going down here. Huh. Well, it doesn't look like much is going down here. Except a tree and a lot of dirt. Nature is reclaiming this place. Well, I I don't know. I, I don't feel satisfied like I, I need to go back down here. I feel like I missed something. And there's that room there, that balcony. Very crags cleft like, which I guess makes sense. Hamrites probably modeled their prison complexes to be the same. I'm sure they have all their little standards. Yeah. Look, you're a zombie in a prison, so why are you getting alert? What do you have to be alert about? You have no stake in this. That's right, I went down that hole in that one prison cell, so I hadn't finished exploring the upper. That's why my instincts were telling me to come back. I hadn't finished exploring the upper part. Alright, let's see. Cell 2. Hoggins the Beggar. Harmless. Hoggins the Harmless Beggar. Har Hoggins the Harmless Beggar. Say that ten times fast. Thorin the Liar. Hopefully not Oakenshield. I, I kind of trust that guy. Ignore his complaints. Finch. Preoccupied with sifting through his dung. Ugh, that must have been the guy looking for the thing that he swallowed. Ugh. Jorge the Texture. Annoying habit of popping up where you don't want him to be. Mock. Extremely strong, do not agitate. Plabs, the drunk. Will do anything for a drink. Zok, brother of Mock, also extremely strong. Zok, Mock. Now that's just lazy. You flip the M on its side, bend one of its things around. And you name your next kid. Let's see. Well, I don't want to go up. I want to go this way up. Let me let me keep exploring down here. Even though that looks pretty cool. Oh, another. Yep, this is very much modeled after Cryslep. The Hamrites like their standards. Who do we have here? Branton the Lethargic, always sleeping. Pottis the Thief. I'm glad. I'm glad that I'm named Garrett and not Pottis. Brags about his equipment smuggling. Ignore him. Beagle, Vigel the Beast, extremely hairy, has recently befriended a frog. Okay. Fivel the Thief. Thumble. Thumb. Oh, th I was about to say, like, Thumbleness. What am I thinking? He's very Thumble. No, Thumbless. Adept pickpocket. Watch your valuables. Drom had the addict. Never eats, never sleeps, will probably die soon. <laughs> oh. Nice. Jarek the child. Body of a man, mind of a child. 
grot. Extremely violent approach with caution. And of course, you know, if you're like the guy in Cell 8, you're that thief FM author who will probably die because you can never get away from Dramed. It seems a little quieter this side. Maybe it wasn't so much of a joke when I said that Cell Block 1 was the livelier of the two. Because <laughs> this one's kind of dead. Nothing back here. What a chip. Frog beast, you know a frog beast when you hear one. Oh, those little guys have an explosive temper, though. to be some loot here. Couldn't be that kind of setup without a loot. So I guess this prisoner had ate, ate a ring, you know? That's the part about being a thief they don't tell you. If you ever go to prison, you better be ready to eat some valuables. So no archer here either, that helps. Why oh why, Hammer, why do you guard these prison blocks still? Or do you not know that they are most dead and empty and tranquil? Good night everyone, thank you, thank you. I hope he doesn't see me over here. I'm crouched behind this balcony overhang. There's nothing down here. Oh boy. Are they ever rhythmically dancing? You know, one frog beast is bad enough. A lot of them, not good news. You know, you guys are just too in sync. There's something a little creepy about it. Let's see. For six days, the army's St. Judal did battle with the Jiggy Witty. The rift of the undead emanated from the Jiggy Witty. It was the source and the gateway between the worlds. The fallen brethren rose as the conduit host passed near and they became the walking dead. But St. Judal had been praying for wisdom from the Builder while he slept the sixth night. St. Judal's hammer was blessed and made holy. On the seventh day, St. Judal joined the battlefield. He fought his way to the Jiggy Witty and struck a blow with the holy hammer. The Jiggy Witty broke into flames which hurled St. Judal forty paces from where he stood. The Jiggy Witty was destroyed, but St. Judal was left wounded near death. As the surviving brothers went to his aid, he spoke. I shouldn't have been so close, eh? You know what? Do I? How many monsters do I have? Because I, I don't know. I may need to hang on to them. Because I have a feeling. Yep. I 
Is there any wood up there? Oh, I should have shot a rope arrow before I picked this up. Blast. Can I creep down here? Don't, don't make that noise. I, I don't like it when you make that noise. Hello. Hey, good frog beast. Good frog beast. Oh boy, there we go, Anne. There's that, and there's that. You know what? That's not a loot item. I don't think I'm gonna mess with it. And what I just did there when I dropped down in on the frog beast, I actually had never done that before. Every time I've played this, I've gone down this way, but this time it suddenly occurred to me, because I was over there looking for loot, hey, I can just go out here and drop down, so that was cool. That's why I say Thief of Hims are always fresh. No matter how many times you play them. Is there any, anything in here? No, I, don't, I don't know if I want to mess with those frog beasts or that jiggy witty thing. In fact, I'm, I'm going to head back up here. Cell block is a little too quiet for my liking. I, I'm ready to move on. Well, aside from the frog beasts, they're quite lively. Again in this area up here. Assuming I can unlock it, do I have? I think. Yeah, I know this one's locked. I remember. Or is it? It's not. It's not. I remembered wrong. Ooh, I'm gonna save it again. The long save, the permanent save. Some loot. Thank you. This door is to remain locked. Keep your key in possession at all times. Death key, that's right. I thought, see, my memory was telling me, go to that dead body on the floor over there. And I was right. What a name for a room, the Dome of Death. Like, they actually just called the key the Dome of Death. That's not like what the evil warden started calling this. It was just the Dome of Death room. Yeah, meet me in the Dome of Death about uh, 6.30. Go in there after dinner. Hey, you got the key to the Dome of Death? Yes, hello, I'm the inspector from the city, uh, here to check up on your Dome of Death. Note to self, remember to vacuum the Dome of Death room today. Only in the world of Thief would a room be called the Dome of Death. I'm in a creepy do area. Let's see. 
Oh my. Hmm. I'm not looking. <laughs> he said, hmm, I'm not looking. I guess I'll just let Garrett speak for me there. But wait, let me see what's up this way. That's even unlocked. Nope. Can't get in there. You know, I guess at some point, um, a hammer actually did fall in here. Let's see, should I use a rope arrow? Do I think I can make it? Let me, I think I can cat jump it. A little gentle, there we go. Did it. And, begin. Oh, great. Back in the real Thieves Highway, the sewers. Everyone likes to think that the ruse are the Thieves Highway, but any cat thief worth his weight in pickpocketed purses knows that the true roadway for any master night crawler is under the city and not above it. So tonight I'll be heading to the sewers to get to... Uh, I'll just sneak see by. <laughs> I have the whole family down here. Yikes. Okay, I am out. Uh, well, I guess I'll never be able to go down in there again. Unless I'm ready to shoot some broadheads. <laughs> uh. Hi, gents. How it's going? How's it going? Bah, getting all tongue-tied again. My word. A robot for me to escape on, maybe. Could this be an escape route? I don't know. Not too sure. But what I am sure about, unfortunately, my dear Taffers, is that this is the end of part one of my Let's Play of Bloodstone Prison. It's been a chilling little journey so far, hasn't it? And we've had some readables, haven't we? A good share of readables. Um... Next time I'll continue exploring these ruins and getting the rest of the loot, finding that Bando's wife's brooch, and then escaping with my life and returning to camp. Is there a map? Oh, there is, huh? That's right, the confiscation vault. That's where I'll be heading to get the brooch, brooch, whatever you call it. In any case, thank you, Taffers, for watching part one of my playthrough of Bloodstone Prison. Thief 1FM by Kung Fu Gecko. Part 2 will be coming soon. Feel free to like, comment, subscribe. Do subscribe if you haven't. Again, thank you for watching. Always appreciate it and appreciate any input. And keep on taffing, everyone. Keep on taffing. <laughs>